some uh, no-handed backboard press. I want to get to the idea of really relying a lot of your weight into your feet so that you have more endurance in your flows, right? So to be able to get into a, a free backbird like that without hand, okay? So we've done backbird many times before and know that the fall coming over this way is you want to watch out for, right? Yeah. Um, and when that happens, me as a base, I want to bend my feet but push my arms up. Ideally, any type of fall means I need to keep your torso above your legs. Yeah. Okay. And, and that should keep you more safe. Now, when you're falling on a new flyer that doesn't understand, quite understand that, now you're learning, we'll go ahead and lean back. Now we need to learn how to get you to fall comfortably when you're falling in a way where you can't see the ground and you know if you're falling down, you can't see the ground. A lot of times our legs will clap this, this way, right? Mm -hmm. You really want to see, turn. Turn. <clears throat> and disperse all that weight. Okay, so what I want to get to today, oh, another fall. Let's go ahead and lean back. I actually fell on this a few months back. Okay. Instead of falling this way, as my fly dropped me here, uh, my okay. base, she pushed me forward. Oh. And there was a... The overcorrection? Yeah, it was, yeah, the overcompensation correction. So let's, let's pop this through, so be careful having things. I, let, I ran into like a brick fall. Uh, Ooh, yeah, okay. My, my knees a bit. So uh, a lot of different ways to fall. But mostly I would say it's the lateral, left and right, right? Yeah. And then back over this way a lot. And if you're flying, someone that's bigger than you, if you're flying a really big dude, mm -hmm. and they land on you, just like I landed on you in floating posture, yeah. they could land on your arm really hurt, or you could go over like this way. Okay. And anytime your, your body is pinned against the ground, it should be okay if you have mats, but sometimes every now and then you'll play outside and there's like yeah. a rock underneath the mat. And it's like a pinpoint, a puncture. So you really have to be mindful about just the environment in which you play in. Okay. Yeah, it scooched a few choice rocks out from underneath your Okay, now let's break down the points. This is just like free bird, right? But we're doing yeah. free back fly. Placement, hands down here. Feet placement right on the hip bones here. You'll lean back, absorb the weight. And then as you're over, then I'll kick up, making sure that you're not over this way. Making sure my legs are nice and 90 and extended. Um, this is, will become more and more important when you're doing a lot of transitions where you rely a lot on your feet balance. Feeling the, being able to be receptive in your feet, taking the body weight, not jerking them up, but like being able to absorb some of that weight and lightly get them. It's, it's the difference between having like really tough, hard feet and like nice, soft feet okay. and more comfortable ride, right? Are we going? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and have you. Okay. Let's go ahead and have you um, base. Okay. 